Andrea. What do autism, chick birds, and alien cats have in common? Not much, except that they are the topics of three of the speeches that I've observed this quarter. Because I lived way out in Yale, it was, I was having a hard time attending evening community events, so Dr. Phil suggested I look into Toastmasters. What is Toastmasters, you ask? Well, it has nothing to do with toasters or bread. What Toastmasters is, it's a group of people that get together on a weekly, two, you know, two weekly basis to practice their public speaking skills. It's really similar to our class without the marbles and the pressures of being graded. <coughs> Three of the speeches that I observed while at Toastmasters <coughs> meetings were by Mary, a brief introduction to her life with autism, Robin, a informative speech about her trick birds, and Fiona, an impromptu speech on why cats are smarter than humans. <laughs> Mary. Mary's speech was a brief introduction about her life as a young person with autism. Autism is a complex developmental disability that affects people within the first three years of their life. It affects a person's ability to communicate and interact with others. There are many different levels to autism. In February 2007, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued their autism prevalence report. The report looked at a sample of eight years old, eight year olds in 2000 and 2002. It concluded that the prevalence of autism had risen to one in every 50, 150 American children and almost one in 94 boys. Currently, 1.5 million Americans live with some form of autism. As a young child, there were many services available for Mary to help her with school and socially. But as she grew into a young adult, those services became more and more limited. So her mother was her number one cheerleader in standing up for her rights to make sure she received the services that she needed. As a young adult, Mary became depressed and found that art was a great outlet to work through her emotions. And now you can view Mary's artwork throughout galleries in Olympia and the Lacey area. The next speech I observed was Robin's informative speech on her trick birds. Robin has many birds, but three of which she takes to different places such as schools, nursing homes, um, preschools, to put on little shows. Her first bird is a bird named Corky. Corky is 20 months old. He is very talkative and he loves to talk to kids. Now, for the moms in here, who has never told their child, sit down and eat? I know I have. So can you imagine Robin's surprise when she's given a show with a group of preschoolers and Corky starts telling the children to sit down and eat, sit down and eat. Um, the next bird is Charlie. Charlie is a wild caught macaw. He is about 40 years old. He has his own little roller skates, which he skates up and down on ramps, and he has a little basketball and a little hoop, and he likes to play basketball for the kids. Then there's Tiny. Tiny is a very messy bird. He loves to throw his food around his cage. Tiny loves women. His favorite place to sit on a woman is right here. <laughs> Tiny also loves to tease Robin's other animals. Tiny has a large walk-in bird cage and they just leave the door open during the day so he can come in. He's a family member. Well, and like I said earlier, he's very messy with his food, so his food is all over the floor. Well, the family dog likes to go into Tiny's cage to clean up the crumbs off the floor. Tiny thinks it is so funny to hop out of his cage and shove the door shut on the dog. Or locking the dog in the cage. The, the third speech that I observed was an impromptu speech, which we know what that is. They just pick a topic out of the bowl and you give a two minute presentation or whatever that topic may be. This was given by a young lady named Fiona. Her topic was why cats are smarter than humans. Here's why she thinks cats are smarter than humans. Cats are really from outer space. They came to Earth to help their favorite pets, us, realize that they are the center of the universe. 
They have small communicators, which they use to talk to the mothership, hidden in their bellies. We think they're purring because they're happy to be around us. No, they're really <laughs> communicating with the mothership about their efforts to revamp the program to get rid of the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so what do autism, trick birds, and alien cats have in common? Still, nothing much, except that if you take the time to look for them, everyday people have really interesting things to say. <laughs>